Hello and welcome to episode 11 of the Smash Ultimate Bonding Workshop. I'm super excited to teach this episode, as fighter frames are, in my opinion, the number one most crucial tool for making cool things. Fighter frames are functions you define that can run code every single frame for either every single character or just one specific character. Here's how you define both of them. This top one works for every single fighter, and this bottom one for just Corrin. You'll also need to put them down here. If you want this to work for a different fighter, simply replace Kamui with the name of the fighter you want. And here's three examples of what you can do with fighter frames. Firstly, we're going to check which animation Corrin is in, and if it's special fall, proceed. We do that with motion module motion kind, which is a really useful function to know. This line that's in the if statement is one of the ways to change the current status kind. It doesn't need a boma, but instead of having a module, you just call it with fighter. Put the desired status kind here. A list can be found in the orconst file. For fun, I'm also going to give Corrin her jump back. This is how you do that. And that's all we need to do to replace special fall for Corrin. Let's put it in Smash and make sure that it works. And testing this in Smash, we can see that when we do our upbeat, we're able to act again. For the next example, I'm going to show how to have a move always active. I'm just going to go with something simple, so F tilt. I've already copied these hitboxes into this file. All I've done is changed all the hitboxes to have the same ID of 0 and a part ID of 1, 2, or 3, just so they don't override any other hitboxes. And this is the part in the series where I say that you should definitely have the Smash Ultimate Trading Mod Pack downloaded. The link will be in item 2 in the description. It's super useful for, well, training but I really like it because of its hitbox viewer. And as you can see by it, the hitboxes for F-Tilt are always active. Lastly, I'll be using this fighter frame to show how you can run code on a specific numbered player. The way to declare the BOMA of player 2 is with this line. If you want to, say, do player 8, you would put 7 in for here, as this number is 0 indexed. The way I check if player 2 is above 80% is the exact same way you can do it in any other context, but with BOMA2 subbed in for fighter.module accessor, not only in the damage function, but also in this add damage function I have here. What this does is just returns a player to 0%. So all that this code is doing is saying if player 2 is above 80%, return them to 0. Testing in training mode, it works great. You can't really tell because of the last mod that I just made, but there we go. As usual, the code I just wrote will be available in item 1 of the description. I hope this helped, and happy modding!